imagine this. You are driving down the highway, zoning out, and then, wham, <gasps> your car nudges you back into your lane. Is it magic? Of course not. The magic of lane keeping assist. But how does it work really? And should you actually trust it? Let's wade in. Now there's also lane departure warning, which is just your car's way of shouting, yo bro, as you start veering off without indicating. Lights flash, a beep sounds, or it even gives you a little seat vibration. But the lane keeping assist takes it to a different level. It actually steers your car back into the lane. Yup like your car has a set of hands on the wheel, guiding you so you won't be drifting into the next lane by mistake. This tech is part of level 2 autonomy, the I got your back but you're still in control kind of deal. It aims to reduce human error, especially during long highway drives. With the starting lineup in 2022, it officially became compulsory for new cars. A quick throwback on lane keeping technologies. Believe it or not, this all started back in 2000 with Mercedes trucks in Europe. They wanted to keep truckers from drifting, so they gave them a little nudge with sound and vibration. Then in the early 2000s, Nissan and Toyota brought it to passenger cars in Japan. Now nearly every car maker, Honda, Ford, Mercedes has this tech. How does lane keeping assist actually work? Here's how it goes. A camera near your rear view mirror keeps an eye on the road and the lines. If you begin to drift out without signaling, it will send a little warning your way in the form of a vibration or sound. Never mind correcting it. Your car will kayak you smoothly into the lane again. Meanwhile, some cars even use the brakes to help get you back in line. But what about when it's annoying? Here's the catch. Lane keeping assist can sometimes feel like your car is trying to take control. It might tug the wheel or even hit the brakes a bit. But don't panic, you can adjust the sensitivity or turn it off if it gets too bossy. Just know, it might turn back on when you start the car again. How about on tight twisty roads or when trying to avoid potholes? You'll inadvertently set it off. And that can be a real pain. In other words, Lane keeping assist is that friend always looking out for you, perhaps a bit too much at times.